Why do more people in Scotland not take part in sport? The Scottish Parliament's Health and Sport Committee is looking into this issue and wants to hear the views of people about the barriers to participating. I think it depends on the, the people, the person or cell, what's their, how their, their state of their body is, how their mind works, if they're in a mindset to want to do it, if they're disabled, they've got people to help push them. Maybe other things to do, busy lives. I mean, people have to work longer hours nowadays and, you know, trying to fit things in. Whereas at one time you had your eight hours and then you could maybe do this and that, but now you, it's, it goes on to 10, 12 and, you know, things like that. No, I think uh, you can't force a person to, to do it. If the council, if the parliament want to uh, get people into it, maybe they should make it a bit cheaper to, to go in. I think more people should go out there and just experience being in the gym and exercising and just being healthy. Well, the committee's uh, looking at sport and sporting participation. We're looking at uh, the barriers to uh, people taking part in sport, people like me who don't do enough sport. And we want to look at all of these issues, particularly following the Commonwealth Games when we wanted to leave a sporting legacy in Scotland. But we also need the public to tell us what's going on in the community, tell us what's going on in their backyard and tell us about their experience. So are they having uh, any problems participating in sporting activity? So please come forward and uh, tell us what's happening in your area. You can find out how to give your views through our online survey on our webpage and join the debate on social media.